Hello students, let's do algebra exercise 14b. 14b is found on page number 153. Question 3, first one, evaluate 3a minus and within brackets we have a plus 2b. So first thing let's do is we'll give a a sign, we'll give it a plus sign. If a, a term doesn't have a sign, we can give it a plus sign. Now let's begin. 3a we write as it is. Now, before we open brackets, we need to see what sign is there before the bracket. So here, before the bracket, we have a minus sign. That means the sign of all the terms inside the bracket will change. So plus a will now become minus a, plus 2b will become minus 2b. Now we start working out like we did earlier. So before that, let's put all the signs. So I have plus 3a and here I can write 1. Now let's work out. There are like terms here, 3a and 1a. So we'll put those two together. So we have plus 3a minus 1a and then we have minus 2b. So let's work out plus 3a minus 1a. So that is plus 3 minus 1a minus 2b. When signs are different, we put the sign of the bigger number and subtract. 3 minus 1 is 2a. So that becomes 2a and this is 2b. So our final answer is 2a minus 2b. Question 2. 5x minus 3y. Okay, the first bracket, there's no sign before it. So it's plus, it's understood. So nothing changes. We write this as it is 5x minus 3y. Now before the other bracket, we have a minus sign. So we need to change the sign of all the terms inside the bracket. So this is understood to be plus. So now all the signs will change. So plus x becomes minus x plus y becomes minus y. Now let's write whatever is missing. So let's put a plus sign here. Let's put 1 here and 1 here. Now as you can see there are unlike terms here. So the like terms will group them together. 5x and minus 1x. Let's put them together. So that becomes plus 5x minus 1x plus let's take the y's minus 3y minus 1y let's work this out so plus 5 minus 1x plus minus 3 minus 1y okay now when signs are different put the sign of the bigger number so here we have plus 5 and minus 1 signs are different Let's put the sign of the bigger number plus and subtract. 5 minus 1 is 4. So plus 4x. Now on the other side, we have minus 3 and minus 1. So let's put this first. So when signs are the same, put the same sign and add. 3 plus 1 is 4y. Okay, let's open the brackets now. So plus 4x. Now if you have a plus sign before a bracket, nothing changes. Whatever's inside the bracket remains the same. So this is minus 4y. So our final answer here is plus 4x minus 4y. Question 3. 8a plus 15b is within one bracket and there's no minus sign before it. So this remains the same. So let's write it as it is. 8a plus 15b. Now before we open the other bracket, let's see the sign before it. It's minus. That means everything inside that bracket, all the signs will change. So first, 3b has a plus sign. Now let's open the bracket there. So here, when we open the bracket, it becomes minus 3b my plus 7a. So minus becomes plus. Okay, so let's open all brackets. 8a plus 15b minus 3b plus 7a. Now let's take the like terms. We have 8a and 7a as one set of like terms. So let's put those together. 8a plus 7a plus, now we'll, let's take the b's together, plus 15b minus 3b. Now let's solve it. 8 plus 7a plus, plus 15 minus 3 b 
Now, 8 plus 7 is 15a. Now, the other side, plus 15 minus 3 is 12b. So, our final answer is 15a plus 12b. Question 4. First set of brackets, we can open 8x plus 7y. Before we open the other bracket, let's see. We have a minus sign before the bracket. So the sign of all the terms inside the bracket will change. So that becomes minus 4y plus 3x. Now let's group the like terms 8x and plus 3x together. So that becomes 8x plus 3x. So we put the x together plus let's put the y's together plus 7y minus 4y. So this becomes 8 plus 3x plus plus 7 minus 4y. 8 plus 3 is 11x plus plus 7 minus 4. Signs are different. So we put the sign of the bigger number and subtract. 7 minus 4 is 3. So 3y. 11x plus 3y. That's our answer. Question 5. 7, we write it as it is. Now, minus, we need to change the sign of all the terms inside the bracket. So, plus 4a becomes minus 4a. Minus 5 becomes plus 5. So, now, we can put the signs wherever there's a sign missing. Okay, so this becomes 7. Now, as you can see, these are like terms and 4a is different. So let's group them together. Plus 7 plus 5. This is together and minus 4a is separate. So here, let's add this up. When signs are the same, put the same sign and add. 7 plus 5 is 12 plus 12 minus 4a. So what is our answer? 12 minus 4a. Question 6. So the first bracket, we can open it, 6y minus 13. Before we open the next bracket, let's check the sign inside and change the signs of the terms. So this is plus, sign outside the bracket is minus. So all the signs of the terms will change. So plus 4 becomes minus 4, minus 7y becomes plus 7y. So we have like terms. 6y and 7y. Let's put them together. So this is plus 6y. So plus 6y plus 7y plus minus 13 minus 4. This is plus 6 plus 7y and this we can solve it. Minus 13 minus 4 when signs are the same, put the same sign and add. 13 plus 4 is 17. Okay, let's open brackets now. 6 plus 7 is 13y minus 17. So our final answer is 13y minus 17. Next question, subtract. 5a minus 3b plus 2c from a minus 4b minus 2c. So now we have polynomials. Let's arrange them in columns like we did for addition and then subtract. So when we have the word from, that means what comes after that should be written first. So let me write a minus 4b minus 2c. I'll write that first. Below that I will write 5a minus 3b plus 2c. Right, now something that's very, very important when you do subtraction is the signs of all the terms in the second row. The second expression will change. Okay, so the signs of all the terms in the second expression will change when it is subtraction. So first, let me put all that is missing. So this is plus 1a and this is also plus. There's nothing else missing. So now we are going to subtract. But before that, we are going to change all the signs. So here, plus will now become minus. This minus will now become plus. And plus will become minus. So let's cancel these. 
So we will remember to use this. So now let's work this out. In the working column, we can take the a's alone. So plus 1a minus 5a. That is plus 1 minus 5a. When signs are different, put the sign of the bigger number and subtract 5 minus 1 is 4a. So this is minus 4a. So the a part I finished minus 4a. Now we can work it out here itself. Okay, in the column itself. So let's go to B. We have minus 4 and plus 3. When signs are different, minus 4 plus 3 signs are different. Put the sign of the bigger number that is minus and subtract. 4 minus 3 is 1 and I write B. Let's go to the C column. Minus 2C minus 2C. Signs are the same. So put the same sign and add. So let's put minus and add. 2 plus 2 is 4C. So what is my answer? Minus 4A minus 1B minus 4C. Question 2. Again, subtract the first expression from the second expression. So the second one should be written first. So 12X plus 7Y minus 21 Z. Then let's write down the second expression below this now. That is the first one that's given here. 4x minus 6y plus 3z. And let's remember to change the signs of all the terms here. So first let's put the terms. The terms of the second row will all change. So plus 4x becomes minus 4x plus 6y become minus 6y becomes plus 6y plus 3z becomes minus 3z and now we are going to work this out we can do it here itself carefully now plus 12 minus 4 signs are different so put the sign of the bigger number and subtract 12 minus 4 12 minus 4 is 8 so that's 8x let's go to the y's Check the sign, plus 7, plus 6, so that is, signs are the same, put the same sign and add, 7 plus 6 is 13, so that is 13y. Go to the third part, z we have, signs are the same because this we have cancelled, minus 21, minus 3, signs are the same, put the same sign and add, 21 plus 3 is 24, so 24z. So what's our answer? 8x plus 13y minus 24z. Moving on to question. Subtract the first expression from the second. So we have to write the second expression first. 5a minus 7b plus 2c. Now let's write the first expression below this in the right columns. Now we have only a 5 and we don't have any uh, column for that. So let's write that separately. 5 minus a, put it in the column for a, minus 4b plus 4c. So now we are going to change the sign of all the terms in the second row. So first let's put the sign. So this is plus 5, which is going to turn to minus 5. Now a is by itself, so let's put minus 1a. We're going to change minus to plus again here minus to plus plus to minus now let's start working out so minus 5 will remain the same let's go to the second row of a so this is plus 5a so we have plus 5 and plus 1 signs are the same so put the same sign and add the numbers 5 plus 1 is 6 and write a let's go to the next one we have a minus sign and a plus sign Signs are different. So let's put the sign of bigger number and subtract. 7 minus 4 is 3 and put B. Go to the third column. We have plus 2 minus 4. So put the sign of the bigger number. That's minus and subtract. 4 minus 2 is 2C. So our answer is minus 5 plus 6A minus 3B minus 2C. Question 4. 
subtract the first expression from the second one. So the second one we are writing first x minus y minus z. Below this minus 8x minus 12y and plus 17z. Okay, and this we are going to subtract. So before we subtract, let's put all the numbers and the signs that we need to. So this is plus 1x, 1y and 1z. Now we are going to change the sign of all the terms in the second expression, the one that's below here. So minus now becomes plus. Here also minus becomes plus and here plus becomes minus. Now let's work out. So we let's go with x first plus 1 plus 8. Signs are the same, so we put the same sign and we add 1 plus 8 is 9, 9x. Now let's go to the second part with the y's. We have minus 1 plus 12. Signs are different. Put the sign of the bigger number plus and subtract. 12 minus 1 is 11y. Now let's go to z. We can see signs are the same. So let's put the same sign and add 1 plus 17 is 18. So that is 18z. So our answer here is 9x plus 11y minus 18z. Moving on to question. Subtract the first expression from the second. So let's write what comes after from first. So ab minus 2cd plus 2ac plus b. And let's write the first expression below this. 2ab plus cd plus cd minus ac minus ac minus 2bd minus 2bd. So that was bd. Don't forget to put the d there. Okay, now we are going to subtract. But before that, we are going to change the sign of all the terms in the second row. So first let's put all the signs and the numbers needed. So this becomes plus 1. This is plus. Now here we have 1 CD and 1 AC. Now we're going to change the signs of all the terms in the second row. So this plus becomes minus. Plus becomes minus. Minus becomes plus, And minus becomes plus. So let's keep this in mind when we do our working here. So let's start with AB. We have plus 1 minus 2. Signs are different. Put the sign of the bigger number and subtract. 2 minus 1 is 1AB. Let's go to CD. We have minus 2 minus 1. Signs are the same. Put the same sign and add. 2 plus 1 is 3CD. Third term that is AC here. Let's look at the signs. Both are plus. So put the same sign and add. 2 plus 1 is 3ac. Go to bd. As you can see, the signs are the same. Put the same sign and add. Now this is 1 here. So 2 plus 1 is 3 and we write bd. So what is our answer? Minus 1ab minus 3cd plus 3ac plus 3bd. So children, we'll stop with that for now. In our next video, we'll continue the other exercises. Thank you children.